we're ranching is living and living is ranching. Today we're going to be doing a special project. I'm going to be weaving the seat of a rocking chair. So let's get started. This old rocking chair has been around for a long time. It belongs to my granny and she rocked my daddy, my two uncles in it, and I'm going to fix it up for her. To do this job, we're going to need some basic tools and some simple materials. We're going to be putting a rush seat in this rocking chair. That's what this stuff is, and it's kind of hard to work with when it's dry. So I like to take it, and I like to put it in a mop bucket and put some towels over it so it'll stay in there because this thing, stuff floats up when you put it in water. And I usually just put it in there for 15 minutes. Now here's the simple tools that you'll need. You'll need a hammer, a tape measure, a stake, or stake and some scissors, and two clamps, and a cable staple gun. First you're gonna need, need to do some simple measurements. First you'll measure the back, and then you'll measure the front. You'll take those two measurements and subtract them and divide that by two, and then you'll put it right, and then you'll mark your mark right here, and then you'll see why we do that when we start weaving the chair. Now, to the point where you can say you're basically starting to weave this chair. So first, you're gonna take your rush out, shake off any water. Now, if you're eight years old, like myself, um, you should, you probably should have somebody there to help you staple a staple gun and tighten. Did I have my dad here to help me staple and tighten? All right, first you're gonna take either end. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna staple it about right here. Alright, then when you get that stapled, you'll take your coal and go over the front rail, up to the middle, over the left rail, up to the middle, over, over the right rail, up to the middle, and over, back over the front rail, up to the middle, and set your coal down. Now, you need to come back and tighten these. So first you're gonna pull real tight. And I'm gonna hold my thumb when I tighten so I can keep the tension on it. And you're gonna so tighten over here. And tighten over there. Just working these corners. And then you're gonna take your staple gun. You're gonna staple about right here. Then, you're gonna cut that off. So this whole chair, it has the same weave. So now, you're gonna staple it just a little bit further and the last one. Take your coal. You're gonna wanna go over the front rail, up to the middle, over the right, over the left rail, up to the middle, over the right rail, through the middle and back over the front rail and up through the middle and set your tool down. You want to pull real tight. Just want to continue working these corners. Now we're going to weave all the way to the point that you marked on your chair. 
Then we'll start waving the back. You're gonna take your staple gun and staple it a little bit farther. And cut it off. After you make about three passes or so or four, you wanna take your stake and your hammer and you're just gonna to wanna to put it on that rush and just Tap it over so. The reason why you do all that tapping over is because sometimes when you're not paying attention, these, the, this rush will ride over each other. Like that one will come over on that. So the timing to fix all your corners and stuff is when you're doing it. Because you can't go back and fix that when you got it done. Then you're going to keep repeating your look, this process till you get to those marks. All right, now when you have weaved up to the two lines, we're basically going to start weaving the whole chair now. And the whole chair has the same weave. So what you're gonna do, go over the front row, up to the middle, over the left row, up to the middle, over the right row, up through the middle, And then back up and over the front row. And then the back row, up through the middle, over the right row, up through the middle, over the left row, up through the middle. gonna keep doing this till we're till I'll show you where we put cardboard in and when you run out we'll get to where we tie it on so we can keep weaving. Hey guys today we're in my shop continuing working on the rocking chair so let's get started. Now we're to the point where you need to add on to your rush. So what you're gonna want to do is when you were weaving the last time, take that tail and take your new and take your new rush, and you're gonna start off like a regular knot. Make it X, and then go down over it like that, and then take the right strand and go in front of it and back there, right there. Tie that. Kind of trim these tails. Now we're to the point where we can take off this clamp and continue weaving this chair. Uh.
to the part where we need to add some cardboard. Oh, yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the chair. Oh, yeah. Just flip it over on the back. And you're gonna get these cardboard triangles. And, and like, when you feel, when you're good to put the cardboard in, you're just gonna like measure it right there and cut how, how the triangle looks like and then do that on the back too. All right, once you get finished putting all the cardboard on the bottom, I'm about to tell you why we need to do that. It's, and I put cardboard on the top too. The reason why you need to do this is because like when the chair, when it gets old, it'll just fall right apart. So this cardboard will help it like, kind of like come up and make it stronger where it lasts a little bit longer. Now, you're just gonna keep doing this weave to the next step. All right, once your two sides come together, you should have a little strip on the front and back. So now we're gonna start what, you, what I call the figure eight weave. So, now if I were you, I wouldn't be using your cool since the, since the, little mid, since the middle is so small. I'll just use them. So, take your clamp off. You're gonna go up through the middle. Once those, those, that gap is filled up, you're going to flip your chair over it and tie the finishing knot. Now we're going to tie our finishing knot. You're just going to take one and pull it up like that. Then take the rush that you've been working with and go twist it right there. And then make a loop right there. And go around. You're gonna pull that through right there. Pull it down. Then take your scissors. You don't want to trim too close, but you want to trim probably about an inch right there. And that is the finishing knot of this chair. Well, here's the finished product. I think it turned out very nice. As always, thanks for stopping by at Botech and Scalable at Monk House, where ranching is living and living is ranching. And be sure to check out www.botechit.com. I'll see you in the next video.